homecoming and we're live from the art room at SGM. Please stand for the prayer and pledge. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen. St. Thomas More, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For the first time, we have a live studio audience here for Tinkercast, so thanks for joining us, everybody. Um, homework teachers have been emailed the Google form that will be used later in the broadcast for the trivia contest. Uh, please make sure a responsible student in your first hour is forwarded that email. Activities Director Ms. Kim Manuel is joining us this morning to let us know about this weekend's homecoming activities. Good morning, SGM. Morning, Ms. Manuel. So, Ms. Manuel, how is homecoming for you? What does it mean to you? Well, I think homecoming most of all means that the alumni are honored in a special way for being a part of the SGM tradition. And homecoming really is about the students <coughs> celebrating their home, St. Thomas More, and being able to incorporate all of those special memories that SGM will hold with them forever. Um, what do the students need to know about this awesome weekend? Okay, first of all, most importantly, you need your ID and your homecoming ticket to get into the dance. The doors open at 8 and they close at 8.30. And that's really important for you to be able to get here early, get your pictures taken with Mr. Falgu, and then all, all enjoy all the dance activities. All right, and lastly, why is the pep rally in Okay, we wanted to do something really special this year, a new tradition called a powder puff football game. So we're going to have the girls play freshmen versus sophomores, then juniors versus seniors, and at the halftime between those two games, we're going to have all of our general homecoming pep rally activities like a crawfish obstacle course, our dance teams will perform, our cheerleaders will perform, and of course you have to come and watch Coach Struther as our awesome MC. Well, it sounds awesome, Ms. Manuel. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Ms. Manuel. Good luck with all of the festivities. Our first story this morning highlights our fantastic volleyball team as they prepare for, an prepare for another deep run in the playoffs. This week, we're highlighting the Cougars volleyball team and the many accomplishments they've made in the past. We asked two students about their experience with volleyball. I like playing volleyball because it gives us a chance to build new relationships and play with an amazing group of girls. Yeah, and y'all come out to support this Saturday. We play here. We're not sure what time, but we'll let y'all know. But we'd love to have y'all here. The SCM volleyball team has been very successful in the past, and they continue to reach new heights every year. Yes, um, these girls really work hard. Uh, they focus on making decorations. It really becomes a service to the school and to the community, and I think they're going to share with you some of the projects that they've been working on. All right. Uh, now, how did the art club come up with the design for the backdrop? Well, our student council meets very early in the year and comes up with a theme for homecoming and also some ideas for the homecoming backdrop. They present these ideas to art club, and art club takes these ideas and modifies them to come up with the design that they want. All right, uh, what are some other projects that our club has been working on this year? So this year we designed um, all the decorations for the academic pep rally like we do every year. And this year we also created a new holiday decoration committee to decorate for upcoming holidays at SCM. What projects are coming up later in the year? Well, as our club members, we have many faith planning opportunities. We have two coming up, one on November 23rd and another on November 24th. Awesome. Uh, besides backdrops and decorations, what are some other projects and events that our club is a part of? All right, so every year uh, for each holiday, we, we pick one holiday out of the year and we make little pins for the teachers and we put them in their boxes. Last year we did Easter, we picked the egg, and uh, the year before that we did Clover for St. Thomas More. Great. Now let's take a look at the many hours of preparation for this year's homecoming.
Monday. Students interested in a role on stage should be in the cafeteria after school on Monday. Applications for backstage positions will also be available at that time. Find information about auditioning on the Musical Moodle page or talk to Mr. Johnstone today. The homecoming dance begins at 8 p.m. on Saturday and lasts till 11. Make sure you bring your ID. Also, the LSU football game will be playing in the mall for all you Tiger fans. Our next story is about one of the newest clubs on campus, the Sim Club. Logan Sullivan reports. This year, STM got not one, but two new clubs, the second being STEM. I decided to interview one of the main members to find out what's going on in STEM. So basically, it's mainly for the people who have an interest in those fields or in those subjects uh, that like want to get uh, involved in projects like that but don't have time to take like the help desk electives or the independent study or the engineering electives. It's so, it's like a time after school so people can like further their interest in engineering and technology. It's we kind of just take different topics and roll with them. Like our first meeting was all about 3D printing. Um, our second and third meetings were all about the different subjects we had going on in our technology fair for open house, such as virtual reality, uh, like squishy circuits and stuff like that. Uh, if you're interested, STEM Club meets Mondays in room 406. For more information, talk to Miss Robin in the help desk. One, two, three, go. Tonight's football game pits our Cougars against the Northside Vikings. We have a few of the senior football players here to tell us about this season and tonight's game. What are you most excited about for this game? Um, I'm just most excited about going out there, getting another win, get ready for the playoffs, and get the district championship. Good. Um, well now, which coach makes you work the hardest? We would have to say uh, Coach Arsenault. He really gets on us to keep that locker room tight. Um, now, what is your favorite pregame ritual or superstition? Uh, well, I like to listen to Kenny Chesney before every game, get hyped. Thank you. Um, the game begins at 7 p.m. with tailgating at 5. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the STM swim team has a tradition of success in the district. Let's dive in to see how they're doing. Hi, my name is Grace Horton, and I am the captain of the STM swim team. I recently committed to swim at LSU, and I can't wait to spend my next four years there. Recently, our team broke three league records. It was the two medley, four free, and two free relays. Um, and then last year, I broke the Division II state 100 back record. This year, we have a very strong girls team, probably the strongest girls team that I've coached. We should be very strong going into district. Um, Expect good things out of top 24. Wednesday night at the 4A District Championship, the boys team earned runner-up. The girls team earned first, and the team won first place overall. The girls 200 medley relay broke their own league record. We have a legitimate shot, um, probably top two, top three at state, uh, but it's going to depend on the kind of swims that we get, the quality of those swims, and uh, a little bit of luck, too, on what events that we pick um, going into state. Yeah. Thank you for that report. Tomorrow, the swim team will be competing in the top 24 meet. Come out to the Show Center to support the team. The action begins at 9.30 a.m. Don't forget to come out to this year's STM's Got Talent. The show is this Wednesday night in the cafe. Come and support your friends as they fight for the prize and glory. Our next story is about the STM, STM speech and debate team as they get ready for another competition season. The St. Thomas More speech and debate team is comprised of 32 members who compete in tournaments throughout the year. Members can choose to participate in either speech or debate. Last year, the team celebrated eight members who qualified for the National Catholic Forensic League and returned with several awards. The team travels to tournaments all over the state and nation throughout the year. Speech and debate team members Joey Mampilli and Anna Langier help to explain some of the differences in competition. Um, debate, you're arguing on set topics, and speech is competitive acting. When is your next tournament? Um, actually, it's today. Uh, I compete in debate. In debate, you typically try to construct arguments and present those arguments. In speech, you're performing or acting. The topics we discuss are usually mixtures of like what's right and wrong, as well as policy issues like nuclear energy or police abuse, things like that. Thank you, Carlin, for that report. 
The Navy cheerleading squad is traveling to Hammond for regional competition to get a bid for nationals. Good luck to the Navy squad. Next, we want to spotlight some of our own STM students who have unusual talents. like to share their talents as well. Tell us your name and show us your talent. <laughs> my name's Meredith. <laughs> and my weird talent is I can put my whole fist in my mouth. <laughs> Alright, let's see it. Oh, okay, um, tell us your name and tell us your talent. Um, I'm Ani and I can put my foot behind my head while standing up. Your name and your talent. I'm Maddie and I can't really explain my talent so you're just going to have to see it. Alright, let's see it. Thank you to our studio audience for joining us this morning. After Mass, please join us again for the results of the trivia contest in the Homecoming Court video. See you soon. Well, no, we have our whole trivia down here. Trivia. Sorry about that. Just kidding. We are now ready to begin our Homecoming Trivia Contest. Teachers have been emailed a link to a Google form where you will submit your answers. The questions will appear on the screen. To submit a response to the next question, click on the link. You will use the same form to submit a response for each new question that appears on the screen. There will be 20 questions to answer. Good luck. The winning homeroom will be announced after Mass. So, here we go. Question number one. Say it. Question number one. Question number one. Question two. Question three. Question four.
we have a winner. Question five. Question six. Question seven. Question eight. Question nine. Question 11. Question 12. Question 13.
Question 15. Question 16. <laughs> Question 17. Question 18. And the last question, question 19. Thank you to our studio audience for joining us this morning. After MASH, join us again for the results of the trivia contest and the homecoming court video. See y'all soon.